that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Cases have been diagnosed and confirmed. Shut shutdown, some for extended periods of time as this virus spreads. Positive na rin sa COVID-19 sa Cavite. President Rodrigo Duterte has approved the extension of the enhanced community quarantine in Luzon to April 30. This was announced by Cap... Quarantine or MECQ on Metro Manila at ilang lugar sa National Capital Region. Because of the pandemic, the world has changed. People rush to buy food and medicine. Wearing a face mask becomes an obligation. Its schools were sanitized and disinfected. And eventually, classrooms become empty and shut its doors for the students until an antidote is available. But the Department of Education came up with a learning continuity plan to make sure that learning never stops. The challenge has been set. The Division of General Tria City mandated all the schools to abide and craft their own learning continuity plan. Through the headship of Dr. Prudencio M. Animas, with the help of department heads and school paper advisors, the school was able to devise a clear plan to provide quality and accessible learning to young gentry seniors. True to the meaning of the region's mantra, excellence is a culture and quality is a commitment. DepEd Calabarzon launched Pivot 4A Cube, which serves as the basis in crafting the school's LCP. Governor Ferrer Main also uplifts DepEd mission, vision, and core values in promoting the new educational system. Being the only autonomous school in the city of General Trias, the school also caters its students' diversity and educational needs through the curricula made available by the institution. These are the Special Science Curriculum, the General Secondary Curriculum, and the Open High School Curriculum. Barangay officials were also tapped to ensure community partnership in the delivery of learning. Through the joint effort of the guidance counselors and class advisors, the school accumulated a total of 6,087 enrollees for the school year 2020-2021 and may still rise until classes start on August 24. A total of 373 students belong to special science class curriculum who are privileged to receive added subjects for having a class on research and journalism which evidently proves well addressed by the winning records of the learners under this curriculum. The general secondary has also attracted over 5,000 enrollees who are benefited in the sense that they are in bounty of skill-centered survival courses like cookery, ICT, drafting, and others that can give them chances and knowledge in starting a business of their own in the near future. And there are also a number of enrollees to open high school students who aspire to continue and finish their studies despite having very challenged financial concerns and those who are working during the weekdays. The school also provided the best fit modality for the learners based on the result of LESF which are the Online Distance Learning or ODL and Modular Distance Learning or MDL. Under the Online Distance Learning, the school differentiated synchronous and asynchronous discussion to be used in teaching. For synchronous teachers, they may use Google Meet and video conferencing, live chatting, and live streaming. Students may also visit and check the Google Classroom anytime for activities, outputs, and quizzes for the day. For modular distance learning, the school organized the delivery team who are responsible in the distribution and retrieval of modules. 
this module has complete set of activities for the week-long study. All you need to do is to read, comprehend, and answer properly. If you have questions, you may tap, text, or call your teachers. For more inquiries, don't you worry, the school's LCP has set everything for you. The school will provide a copy of this so you can go back and read again the details you will need in the future. Included in the LCP are the mechanisms in implementing the two learning modalities. Even the assessment to be used are stated in the LCP. The school will use diagnostic, formative, summative, and achievement tests to assess a student's performance. There's nothing to worry about as the community through the barangay officials will partake in the implementation of the different modalities. You may seek help from them especially for those who are using the modular distance learning. In the recently concluded dry run, the school was able to determine the doability of the learning modalities. Modular students from grades 7 and 8 exhibited great effort in answering the activities given in the learning module. Online students from grade 9 and grade 10 also explored and discovered another great way of learning which is different from the normal setting. The success of this dry run was made possible by the competent and dedicated online teachers as well as the hardworking, selfless modular teachers who assisted, guided, and exerted 100% of their time, effort, and expertise. As the result of the dry run conducted last July 27 to 31, 2020 comes out, the school gathered teachers' insights, feedback, and suggestion to improve some flaws on the learning modalities. The school set necessary actions to address the needs of both teachers and students. Teachers were asked to prepare lesson exemplars containing the most essential learning competencies for the students. GEF MNHS also allotted budget to produce learning modules and other materials needed. Coping up with these changes will ensure that there will be minor to zero problems to be encountered as the classes officially starts. The learning continuity plan will serve as the guide of teachers and students in the implementation of the new normal. Finally, this will serve as a guide for the school head in visualizing the office performance, commitment, and review form since the principal manifested his leadership and management skills in crafting the school's LCP. GF MNHS is up to the challenge in ensuring that learning will transpire for the school year 2020-2021. Governor Federmain will continue and will always be true in its vision of promoting quality education to create lifelong learners who are globally competitive bearing the values of a true-blooded Ferrarian.